Six years no be smoking And since I entered the game fatality Hey, hey, thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. If this is your first time, welcome. Please click the subscribe button and the bell beside it so you get notifications every time I post. If this is not your first time, hmm. hello, friend. Welcome back. Click the thumb up button everyone because it helps the video today we're going to be talking about the friends we do not need in our lives um both of us both of us so while i'm talking you just write in, in the comment section if you have that kind of friend or if i didn't mention any type of useless friend please mention it down as well if this is something you think you would enjoy sit back relax get a drink or two and my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform guys i'm um, literally there are two different types of people in our lives the ones that you know fill us with joy purpose happiness even silence sometimes and then ones that drain us so today we're going to be talking about all of those draining ones obviously when we're talking about the draining ones we're kind of acknowledging the fact that they are good ones and that is a difference between um, friends and acquaintances and colleagues and uh, companions and people were just cautious to so instead of focusing on you know adding unnecessary friends obviously increase your network increase your community well not friends so it's better we sit back relax evaluate what we have eliminate or sometimes you can't even eliminate 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 but you just know how much of yourself you're giving to a certain situation so the first type of friends that tire me the ones that are forever complaining like they can bring manna from heaven and to them the manna is not white enough or it's not fluffy enough like complain 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 this same complaining category i don't know i have a friend like that it's only when there's a problem we talk like when there's a need to do something that can obviously help with or i understand the compliments in it that okay maybe i can you know i can physically help do stuff or i'm able to like lift you up from there but well, your good times don't go like okay you're coming about something we're working on working on working on it in our works well you i'm not hearing from you again the next time you get something else like it's tiring something like that i wouldn't say drop drop because clearly you adding value to their lives or don't invest yourself in them because clearly they can't share their good times with you you get what i'm saying i've thought about this situation so much and came to the conclusion that the person is a manipulative person so maybe because of the past or whatever we just keep everything like based on me yeah. just approach it from a place of okay yes this is someone i know this is someone i value but don't forget that this person is a manipulative person so just operate from that angle the next gossips this is one thing that gets confusing in fact let's look for the meaning of gossip according to the oxford dictionary gossip is a casual or unconstrained conversation or reports about other people typically involving details that are not confirmed to be true to be honest that's not what i consider when i see like friends that avoid gossips because this person is just a liar like you're just talking about something and it's not true that's just a liar gossips to me are people who because of the privy knowledge they have about someone who is probably their friend they now are able to talk about them in a negative light let's say someone is close to you you know obviously what goes on in there ever and then it's not good or bad maybe just a situation you now bring it out in a negative way to me that's possible because that's about that you even know what you know you know is because of your closeness to the situation and then you're bringing it out is bad enough you're not bringing it out in ah, okay oh yes this was happening there you're bringing it out so how can this be this how can this be this this is someone i probably don't even know but you know it's closer to you and then you know this because you're close to them to me that's gossip for me gossiping is when you put your negative spin on a situation that i won't have even known so first of all i'm knowing from you that this is happening there Second of all, you're bringing it to me in a, with a negative vibe. Not interested in even relating with you because really, I could be the next <laughs> victim. The next one is a funny one, but I call them oh yes friends. 
these kind of people, you don't even know that you are green with them. Ah, can I, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Yes, yes, yes. Anything you do, yes, yes. Like, give your own damn opinion now. You don't like what I'm doing, or, you know, or even if you don't like what I'm doing, like, just give your spin to it. Like, I'm not God. You get so stop saying yes to everything. You know, you can even say, ah, what if, or one other time, you know, let me just be getting another angle from you. That's why I have two different people. I'm saying in this way, so you just give it out the angle. What if, ah, well, you know, then we'll just, you know, balance things. So those yes members, you need them sometimes to share your life. But just know the kind of person they are, they are and then they probably never challenge you. They don't push you, get you thinking they don't because you're saying something is yes. Yeah, you're not robots now. So yeah, I call those as oh yes friends and as I said, sometimes you need them, but yeah, just know what they are. Fourth one, the fourth type of friends, friends who don't believe in you, really demoralizing guys, like even if you're trying to, I don't know, there's just something about having surrounded yourself with people who believe in you, even when you're being delusional, just have people who believe in you. And your actions because there's this confidence it gives you to a take on life knowing you know whatever may happen this person is there what do you want you're saying something i understand as i'm saying i don't like oh yes friends so obviously when i'm bringing something to you you can see, tell me a negative part or tell me another way it could be done or just give another opinion for it but not just always bringing everything down do you get like let's make mistakes together but just have your angle and then the angle doesn't have to be negative, it could just be alternative. Yeah. Next type of friends, this one they tie up my life. <laughs> Competitive ones. It's good to have people who motivate you. Well not that you say today I, um, I've now bought this blue berry I've always wanted to buy. Uh -uh, tomorrow you just see the person with blue berry, person that hates blue, all the blue berries in their communities with them. So like there's people that just everything is just competition. Like, you are doing it, ah, they want to do it and see if they can do it better. Do your own now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind, like, okay, I influenced you, I inspired you, I motivated you. But let's not be doing, like, it's competition. Let's do that everything to them. Yeah, you did your wedding self, it's competition. Everything is just, every single thing. You guys, like, I can't even remember everything. Maybe your job. Any little, little, tiny achievements you see, ah, oh, they will just do their own. Or try and... <clears throat> Like you will always see it in you know their reflections or even their actions in the future that this one are just competition did this one body, you know. So those kind of friends ah avoid 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 at least even if they are tricking you as the friends they, they have to be just know where to put them. There's the saying uh, copying is a sign of flattery. Nah, <laughs> not every time. Like seriously, not every time. I don't mind inspiring you, but you know, you said come up with something now. Let me be like, ah, ah, you shake creativity. You get not just dubbing my life every time. The last, the sixth friends who, this one's no, no, there's no excuse. This one, this one's I'm even giving you excuses. The friends who disrespect your core values. Every human being has things. You know, oh, yeah, you're thinking of getting married to someone, you're thinking, what are their values? Do they align with yours? So obviously when it comes to friendships, that's if you need to choose someone that aligns with your core, you know, but respect it. There are things that are important to all of us. If people, there's someone around you is not respecting those things, like you don't have to do it, you don't have to, but just understand that this is what's, you know, important to me and respect it. If you have people who don't respect your core values, there's no need keeping them in your life. You get, because friends are like family you choose. So someone who's disrespecting things you believe in, things you know that work for you, things you yeah, you want to be, cut them off. They don't have to agree with what you're doing to respect it. Same thing with you, obviously. But obviously we're talking about our friends. So yeah, friends that disrespect your values. Cut it, 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 cut it. So that's about it too. If you have any other kind of things we should be avoiding, please share with me in the comment section. Let me too know what I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please click the thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Share it with your friends, your family, and your enemies. Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. And I will see you in the next episode.